Hello, and welcome to your Phoenix Art Museum. Oh, hello there, and welcome to the museum. Welcome to the museum. Welcome to Phoenix Art Museum. We're happy you're here. Hi, welcome to Phoenix Art Museum. This is my favorite painting. Hello, welcome to Phoenix Art Museum. Welcome to Phoenix Art Museum. Welcome to the Phoenix Art Museum. My name is Ken, and I like learning new things. I find the best way to learn something new is to have a new experience. It's my understanding that you will be coming to the Phoenix Art Museum for just such an experience. We're very excited that you're coming. So let's get started. You'll never guess where I'm standing. That's right, right outside Phoenix Art Museum, right here in downtown Phoenix, corner of Central Avenue and McDowell. Perhaps you and your family have driven past here on a number of occasions. Maybe you've even noticed the building. Let's go around and see what's on the other side of this wall. Wow, what's he doing here? Big red dinosaur sitting on a lawn. Who knew? Phoenix Art Museum. Tons of things to experience. And this is just but one of them. Take a look at this map. School groups come from near and far to visit Phoenix Art Museum. How far do you think your school is from the museum? Take a guess. One mile, maybe five miles, 10, even 15. How long will it take your bus to get here? Ask your teacher to pause this video to find out. At Phoenix Art Museum, students like yourselves are VIPs, very important people. We even have a special entrance for you to enter our building. It's right over here. The museum is a very large building. Don't believe me? Take a look. The reason why we have such a large building is we have a lot of art. Not only do we have a lot of art, but a lot of people come and visit us every year. People like yourselves. Your Phoenix Art Museum even has a garden. No, not like the kind of garden you might see in your neighborhood. This is a sculpture garden. You can come here and enjoy the art. Look, more art. I wonder where they're going. Do you remember earlier when we talked about how large the museum is? Well, it's not big enough. The museum has over 18,000 works of art in its collection. And we simply don't have enough space for all that art. So you may see something different every time you come. Even some of the spaces in the museum are like works of art. Check out these stairs. It's almost like they're floating. This work of art is constantly changing. Whenever you look at it, the color looks a little different. The artist who made it is actually still making art today. The museum also has art that was made a long, long time ago, including paintings of famous people and beautiful places. Art that reminds you of home. Check out that saguaro and cultures far, far away. The artwork in this space is from the continent of Asia. With over 18,000 works of art in the museum's collection, we need a way to organize all of this art. I am standing in a gallery. A gallery is a room or space where all of the artworks or works of art have something in common. In this case, all of the artworks were created by the artist Philip C. Curtis. So we are standing in the Philip C. Curtis Gallery. When you come to the museum, you may actually hear someone say, hey, follow me to the next gallery. Let's check out this gallery. In fact, let's go check out the Asian gallery. Other galleries in the museum may have something in common besides the fact they're made from the same artist. For instance, they could be made of the same materials. The artworks may have come from a similar time period or even from a similar culture. Or in this case, we're standing in the Asian gallery here. All of these artworks come from Asia. Take a look at these four images from the Phoenix Art Museum's collection. Do you think the museum would put them in the same gallery? Why or why not? Ask your teacher to pause this video so that you can share your ideas.
Now that you know what a gallery is, we should start to think about what you're going to see in the museum's galleries on your upcoming visit. I've invited some high school students to help us out. They've been to the museum many times before, and I'm sure they're going to have some really good advice to help on your upcoming visit. Let's go say hello. Hi, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming down to the museum today to help us out. We've been talking about all the exciting artwork the museum has to offer. I was wondering if you could help us out. Oh yeah, definitely. We could tell you a lot about that. Oh, that's great. You're going to see a lot of paintings. All of them are going to be different. Some of them are from the artist's imagination, and others are more realistic. Oh, that's great. I love paintings. Let's go see if anyone else has something to offer. And what do you like to see? Well, I really like the sculptures, like the really cool Buddha one in the lobby. What about photographs, both in color and black and white? Hey, there's drawings and collages, too. Oh, yeah, like the ones we sketch in art class. Yeah. Any other ideas? Oh, and then there's the fashion exhibit. Even clothing can be art. Yeah, and even computer art. You'd be amazed to see what artists can do with technology these days. Wow, I would never have thought of that. At the museum, you'll see a lot of paintings. A painting is a two-dimensional artwork, but some people just say 2D for short. Most paintings are flat and hang on the wall. Artists often create paintings on canvas, paper, or even wood. Some artists choose to create paintings with lots of different colors. However, others may only use one or two. You might have done some painting yourself using a paintbrush. I even remember painting with my fingers when I was little. You'll also see sculptures. Sculptures are three-dimensional works of art. At the museum, you might hear someone call them 3D. My favorite sculptures are the ones that you can walk around and see them from all sides. Artists create sculptures out of all different materials, such as metal, wood, stone, or clay. When you visit the museum, you'll probably see more than paintings and sculptures. You might also see photographs, collages, installations, even artwork created by using a computer. The museum also has a really cool fashion collection. Clothes can also be art. You'll learn more about these art forms when your class comes to the museum. All kinds of people come to the museum for lots of different reasons. Do you remember your first visit to the museum? Well, yes, I do, actually. I went with my school art class to get inspiration for a project I was making by looking at sculptures. We saw these really cool bronze ones, and we ended up uh, actually making some great ones inspired by those. So, yeah, and also, there were a lot of different artists there. It was interesting. Wow. So, yeah. Anybody else want to share? Yeah, um, I came here a while ago, actually, with my mom, and it was really nice out that day, so we just kind of sat in the sculpture garden for a while, and it was really fun and exciting. Great. I also came with my family. When my uncle came in from California, we took him to the museum. He really liked the Asian artwork and wanted to tell his friends about it when he got back home. Like Alicia, I also came with my school, but it was because we were studying Arizona history. One of the docents showed us around the museum and showed us several of the artists that uh, painted southwest images like the Grand Canyon, and it was really interesting. Awesome. A docent. I'm glad you mentioned that. You'll probably meet a docent when you visit the museum. Does anybody remember what a docent is? Yeah, a docent is pretty much a volunteer teacher that knows a lot about art. Exactly. That's great. Your docent will be there to guide you through the museum. He or she will be interested in your ideas, they'll ask you questions, and be there to answer your questions as well. When you visit the museum, you will also see security staff. Security staff have a very important function here at the museum. They protect you, the visitor, and they also protect the artwork. You'll recognize security staff by the uniforms they wear. In this case, they'll be wearing blue shirts. Well, let's take this moment to ask someone on our security staff a few questions. Hey, Mr. Joel, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Just wondering how you keep visitors here at the Phoenix Art Museum safe. You know, one of the things I do is I, I look around and make sure my gallery is going to be clean, no spills of liquids, no dirt, nothing that's going to cause somebody to slip and fall. Uh, make sure there's no kids running. Um, I make sure that if there's an alarm, an audible alarm or something, I, found out, I find out what's going on. If it's a fire alarm, I have everybody stay as calm as possible and follow me. I can help them get out safely in the event of an emergency. Oh, that's great. And that keeps everyone safe. And then how do you keep the artwork safe? That's our most important function. That's our primary function uh, as gallery attendants. Um, we uh, make sure that people are far enough away from a piece. Usually it's about that far. 
Um, that's because we're concerned that they will lose their balance or somebody will bump them into a piece. That distance gives them a little more time to stop themselves before they're actually touching the piece. Oh, that's great. And that helps keep the artwork in great condition. In excellent condition. That's the way we want to keep it. Uh, if a child comes in today, we want it to be in excellent condition. And when their kids come in years from now, we want it to be in excellent condition as well. What rules do you think are important to follow at the museum? Think about what Mr. Joel just told us. Do you think you could create your own rules? Take a moment and have your teacher pause this video and come up with your own rules for the museum. The artworks at Phoenix Art Museum are one of a kind. If an artwork is broken or damaged, it cannot be replaced. This is why you can't touch any of the artwork in the museum. You can't touch, your teacher can't touch, even your docent can't touch the art. Imagine if every single person who came to the museum touched the same painting. It would be a mess. Fingerprints, dirt, oils, it might even create a hole in it. By not touching the artwork, you are helping to preserve it for students to look, learn, and enjoy it way into the future. Museum visitors must also stay 12 inches or one foot away from the artwork. This helps to prevent an accident from happening. If you are too close to the painting and your friend bumps your arm, you might damage it. If you forget how long a foot is, put your arm out. The space from your elbow to your fingertips is approximately one foot. This is the distance you need to keep between yourself and the artwork. Running is not allowed in the museum. This helps prevent accidents from happening. If you are running, you might bump into your friend, another museum visitor, or an artwork. Food and drinks are not allowed in the museum. This includes water bottles. We don't want anything to spill on the artwork. If you're thirsty, the museum has several drinking fountains. Ask your teacher or parent chaperone if you need to visit one. It's best to leave large bags or backpacks at your school or on the school bus. Large bags are not allowed in the galleries because they might cause you to unexpectedly bump into an artwork. If you do bring a large bag or backpack to the museum, the security staff will ask you to store it in the lobby during your visit. Check with your teacher whether your class is allowed to take photographs in the museum. If he or she says it is okay, then you need to know two very important rules. First, you are never allowed to use a flash. The extra light could damage some of the artwork. Make sure to turn your flash off. Second, you can only take pictures of artwork the museum owns. This can get a little confusing because sometimes museums loan artwork to each other. If there is a camera with a red line through it, you cannot take a photograph. If you don't see a red line, then it is usually okay to take a photo, without a flash. However, some special galleries don't allow any photographs. But don't worry, you can always ask your docent or a security staff person in a blue shirt if you aren't sure if it is okay to take a photo. We've talked about all the things that you shouldn't do at a museum, such as no running, no food or drink, no large bags, etc. But what should you do? Can anybody share some tips? Well, definitely look at the art. Look a lot and look closely. Excellent. It's very important to observe everything around you. When you look, you should ask questions, such as, what does the artist mean? Why did he choose a certain color? You know, things to help you understand the art. I always wonder how a work of art is made, like the artist's process. Asking questions is so important. Your docent will actually ask questions to help you learn more about the art. And share your opinion. Tell them what you think. Remember, all ideas are great, so don't be afraid to share. Absolutely. Sharing is very important. If you ask questions and make good observations, you'll have a great time at the museum. Let's practice looking at a work of art. Take a look at these three artworks. Look closely at the different lines you see. Some are thick, others thin, straight, and even curved. Check out the shapes. Hmm. Hey, it looks like a triangle there. Oh, and a rectangle there. And lots of different colors. Blue, green, and even brown. And we can't forget about texture. Texture is how something would feel if we touched it. We know that we aren't allowed to touch the artwork, but if we could, how would it feel? Smooth, maybe even rough. Pick one of these three artworks. Got it? Now turn to face your neighbor. Describe the artwork to your neighbor. Tell them about the different lines you see. 
shapes you recognize, and colors that the artist used. Ask your teacher to pause the video so that you have plenty of time to share your descriptions of the artwork you selected. Then switch and have your neighbor describe their piece to you. Hey, nice job. You get to practice looking at line, shape, color, and texture when you visit the museum. In the meantime, please ask your teacher if you have any questions regarding your upcoming trip. You can also check us out at our website at www.phxart.org. That's www.phxart.org. Well, I'm impressed. You've learned a lot in a short amount of time. We can't wait to see you at the museum. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye. Can't wait to see you at the museum. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Can't wait to see you all again.